Some of the biggest news from this season was no doubt the introduction of the 850 E-Tech Turbo and the late release of a limited build Summit. And while this season isn't quite over, we do have a 2021 Summit 850 Turbo Expert available to us to use. So for today, I'm going to run it through its paces and see if this 2021 sled has made a difference from when I got to test the 2020.5s earlier this season. Right up front, there's nothing new to note when it comes to changes. The sled stays the same from last season, and Skidoo's had good success with the turbo motor holding together, so there's no reliability things that we need to tell you about. For 2021, Skidoo expanded the turbo into the Freeride and Summit lineup, so now you can spring check a Summit or a Freeride with the turbo engine. While many of the Freeride buyers we interact with don't typically ride their sleds at big altitude, the benefits here are limited. However, for those Freeriders who do want the extra power, or possibly the extra bragging rights, the option was made available. With the dual intake track of the 850 Turbo, you really do have a seamless integration of normal aspiration as well as turbo boost. And it's way more seamless and smoother than any other aftermarket turbo we've ever tested. Now, keeping in mind the horsepower is dramatically reduced over an aftermarket turbo kit that offers 200 plus horsepower at nearly all elevations, you're getting the reliability of a factory turbo and still benefiting from a reasonable amount of power and a slight increase over the non-turbo 850 when riding at lower elevations. You just have to decide if the extra cost is in your budget and if you ride at altitudes above 6,000 feet enough to justify going in this direction. Now here's something for you to think about. If you compare this 165 three inch Summit Expert to a 163 850 three inch Pro RMK, the difference in cost ain't chump change. It's about 4,000 bucks American and five grand Canadian. Keep in mind there is a significant weight increase to go turbo as well. When compared to other brands like the Pro RMK, you're looking at quite sizable digits. Sure, extra power is going to help, but for years, the weight game has been everything in the mountains. And while actual numbers are hard to find at this point, we are seeing anywhere from 35 to 50 pounds being the penalty that you're gonna pay to have a turbo over the other brand's comparable length and lug sled. So it really does come down to how you plan to use the power on the turbo. If you're riding at altitudes under 5,000 feet, this thing isn't gonna open your eyes very much. But when you go above, that's where it starts to shine. And truly, that's the area I feel this sled was built for. It's not a foothills sled, because there's no benefit. It's a big altitude, big powder sled that's able to deliver more power at a greater range of altitudes from the factory with reliability. Now you may argue that companies like Silver have come a long way and are very reliable, as well as offering 40 to 50 more horsepower over this factory turbo, but this is as simple as walking through the dealership door and pulling out your credit card. No install time, no warranty issues, just riding. And a 40 horsepower increase over the normally aspirated 850 E-Tech all the time above 8,000 feet. And when you're riding above 8,000 feet elevation on the 850 Turbo, the one outstanding feature that you're going to notice most is the ability to lift those front skis whenever you want to. And when you're riding in deep powder, that can be a hard thing to do with a non-Turbo 850. But with the track speed of the Turbo, it lifts up and onto the snow so much easier. The increased track speed also helps you in trenching conditions when you may otherwise get stuck. The Turbo continues to push snow and inch its way along. Probably the most noticeable area for me where the power really takes over is high altitude, low speed approach climbs, where you need to not only build track speed, but increase it as you climb. The turbo doesn't hesitate at all and is able to clear out even heavier snow from the 165 three inch lug track and still build speed rapidly, even while climbing. It's really quite impressive. Now I know I haven't said much about the rest of the sled, but when you compare it to the 2020.5 late release, it's because there's nothing that's changed.
But so I don't miss the opportunity, you've got the expert package benefits, which include the shorty seat and tunnel, the no flap snow flap, three inch lug, Kashima coated shocks, limiter strap adjuster, and a revised spindle and stopper. Now, when you go turbo, you also get the one piece lightweight hood that incorporates what used to be multiple pieces, parts, and fasteners into a 6.2 pound savings of weight and gives the turbo its own unique look with the sleeker, more profile design that's easy to pick out of a group of summits. However, for 2021, you can get this on the regular summit as well. The design is different and has been a love or hate for consumers, but the benefits of the lightweight hood are real and also allow for extra engine components needed to fit the turbo inside the summit chassis. When it boils down, you do have real benefits from the 850 E-Tech Turbo. Anytime that you're above just a few thousand feet, it's making more horsepower than its normally aspirated counterpart. When you go above 8,000, it's producing very real results. If you like what you've just seen, click the subscribe button and comment below. And make sure you check out all of our great videos on Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel.